The Fujifilm X-Pro3 camera introduces a new film simulation, the classic negative. This film simulation is an, has a nice vintage look, muted tones, has a cold, cold look, and it looks great. Uh, looks overall great. The only downside is that it's not available for all cameras like the X-Pro2 or the X-T2. Some people even created their own a classic negative look so they can use it in the camera this is uh, this this blog post uh, has a particularly nice recipe uh, it's pretty nice uh, another part of the issue is that we can go to capture one and use this film simulation even though we can use Eterna that was only available on the XH1 we don't have the classic negative film simulation here uh, what we are going to do is to modify this EXIF tag that declares this image file to be produced with the XT2. We're going to change it to XT3, so Capture One allows us to use the classic negative film simulation. To do that, we're going to use this tool. It's a command line tool, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through the process. We, you just need to download it uh, somewhere. I'm going to pick it from here, there. This tool allows you to edit different EXIF tags. There are a lot of tags supported for Fujifilm, but we just need to change the camera model. If you're in Windows, you have a graphic user interface that you can use too, but for now we're going to focus on the Mac OS version. And if you use Homebrew, you'll be happy to know that you can also install it through Homebrew. So once we, you have downloaded this, you have to open the installer. If you just try to uh, install it like this, it's going to tell you that it's not possible because of security restrictions in your systems. Your system is perfect. Don't change it. What we are going to do is hold Option right click and choose open this different dialog will show up and we can open it the installer now we can open the installer now we're going to use the terminal so press and hold command press the spacebar to launch the spotlight and type terminal i have been working with this here so you you might your terminal might look different, maybe something like this. You'll be in this spot. And you have to go uh, to your folder where you have all your images. For example, mine are in pictures, Belgium, capture Belgium. Here is where I have all my images. You will see here this file that is a copy of uh, uh, the file that I was testing previously to this video. This is nice because you know that you can just write the tags for a, uh, for some file and a copy will be created before doing it. However, I don't want to to do that because uh, I'm going to lose the changes I made on Capture Ones. Uh, for now, I'm just going to delete this. And one thing to keep in mind when you ha are in Capture One is that you have to exit Capture One first because otherwise, see, uh, Capture One already cataloged that this image has an XT2. If you duplicate it, and it will read it instantly as an XT2. No matter if you later change the, uh, the EXIF tag, uh, for Capture One to be more efficient, it appears it only reads the tags once. So I'm going to copy the, this name uh, and I'm going to exit Capture One and go here to my, to my terminal. I'm going to copy, I'm going to make a copy of this uh, image. This is the, the image name I copied before. Uh, and I'm going to name it XT3. Now, if I list the directory, you'll see I have my new my new file here. So let's begin working with the XT tool. If we if 
you do this if we just do this you'll see it will show you all the exif tags that it recognizes for this image we just need to know where we have to change the xt2 tag and you will see it's in two places the camera model and the software in my previous test we only need to change the camera model so if we do this it's going to output the camera model if we add an equal x t3 the next time it's going to read it as an xt3 it's done now we can go to capture one again and you'll see our image is, our image is here you will see the the exif tag now says xt3 and even the software was updated now because i was working with this before you probably have it in auto but now you can see you have the classic negative film simulation and that's it now you can start working with this as a starting point start making your own tweaks based on this classic negative film simulation see you next time